Hello everyone, it's been a very busy 2024 so far and not all of it's good. A lot of my accounts got hacked. We have an event planned. We're planning for early access on Steam. I'm building out a pitch deck to send off to publishers. We've been updating our Discord channel so you're not getting so many at pings, new characters and level design. Let's get started. On personal news, so my wife turned 30 this past weekend and we went off to Ireland. I had to drive on the opposite side of the road for the first time and that was freaking me out. But actually after the first like two or so hours, I got pretty comfortable with it. Other than the fact that they have a horrible sidewalk situation going on and basically you feel like you're going to constantly either fall off the road or slam into another car and break your mirrors off for community news so yes i've been hacked a Bruh. huge ordeal and actually actually lasted for about a month and a half where i lost a lot of my accounts the hackers were sending false builds of my game to my discord friends and on steam they published early access on steam which don't worry it's not happening anymore um, I have full access to my stuff again and fully clean my computer, but they unfortunately hit a bunch of my friends and everything and I lost lots of uh, my discord community for a little bit I had to regain and let people know that I'm back and everything but um, yeah, I'm officially back on all my accounts and my computer's good to go no longer a target I was actually planning on quitting chaos cart and quitting game development in general I was just so frustrated with how hard I got hit with my community it got so bad at one point that they were actually forced tabbing me out they had DDoS a lot of my stuff so I couldn't do a, a full restart so I had to go on my phone to do any research on how to get rid of these viruses finally just sent it to a shop and unfortunately like a silly person I didn't back up my files assuming that they were going to back up my files for me as part of the whole deal and they didn't so I actually lost a ton of my files that were not backed up this past year um, including my new character scout so I actually may not be able to recover my entire character scout her vehicle her proper weapon uh, which is so frustrating um, for those of you that have been following my stream, I've been working on really hard on her getting her out here for this next event coming up um, for the past like month or so. To lose her files were just so devastating. Um, and I'm still trying to work on regaining some of my files and everything. So if you have any suggestions on a file recovery and getting back my files or Sessions Painter files um, or Zrush files, that'd be fantastic. The shop is trying their best, but uh, it's pretty rough. So we have the Insomnia event coming up in Birmingham, UK at the end of March. They have LAN parties and it's mostly supposed to be focused on cooperative and local multiplayer games, which I fortunately fall into. And so we'll have a build specifically for the event. I'll post it on our Discord channel so people that don't get to the go to the event can still try out the new build. And we'll have a few new tracks ready for that event. I'm super excited to see some of you guys. So if you're in the UK, definitely come to Insomnia Game Festival over in Birmingham and I'll see you there. So even through the hacking and everything, our Discord channel is still on the up and up, getting people from TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube, and other sources like X or Twitter. There's some new changes coming to the Discord channel, some updates and some upgrades, so you're not going to get pinged at, ev at everyone. When I started doing multi-streaming, I actually started doing uh, streaming on uh, three, different, three different platforms, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube Vertical, actually, and Twitch. That Unfortunately, that led to my MEE6 at everyone on all four of those streams every single day on top of if i ever had any normal videos or had any shorts or had any other things like notifications or news i want to talk about people are getting at everyone and i'm sure a lot of people have turned off notifications i actually got a professional discord moderator and everything to help me reorganize the channel and have a notification squad and everything so you guys can opt in to notifications from now on for my streams a link gestures youtube channel below if you want to use him for your discord server as well sorry about those pings i'm trying to adapt to these kind of growth pains definitely join our discord community if you're a voice actor game developer artist really anyone who is in the entertainment field we'll give you feedback if you want feedback and it's a really cool community shout out to my new patrons my youtube members my kofi members Everyone who's been giving me support and love, thank you so much for everything. You guys are my bros and my broettes. So on game news, we had some pretty bad quality from one of the manufacturers. I was extremely dissatisfied by the sample quality that I got from our second manufacturer. For those who don't know, I'm actually going for five different samples from five different companies to see who has the best quality and ROI for my first 3D merchandise figures, kind of like an Amiibo series from Nintendo. The first one is really good, but they are on the costly range. The second one so far has been dead on arrival. Lots of different visual issues, messing up the paint, 
some proportion errors or hard breakages, quite a few color errors, some things you can just definitely tell they didn't have the same quality standards as the first company. However, I am giving them a second try. These companies know that they are in competition with other companies to see if I can get the best ROI cost for quality between these different companies. And so I can gauge quality between those different companies to understand what the good quality looks like and what bad quality looks like. If I'm gonna sell merchandise at all, I wanna make sure it's top quality and hopefully not too dang expensive. So we've already talked about what happened to Scout, and until I know if I got her files back, I'm not going to bother with her just for right now. But I want to talk about Rex. Rex is our newest champion that we want to have. He is going to be our first non-human character, a super sleek cyborg dog character on his Howler 3000 trike. This guy's got a buster arm. His trike actually can do an inverted wheelie and turn into a mech for his ultimate. This guy's going to be sick to play. We have a bunch of different concepts between Sketchcraft and Francie Artist. I'm really excited to see what the final product will be for this character. We have a ton of new character ideas. I was actually doing some live streams with traditional art with a few of these characters, including an Octopus Chef character, a cool Biker Gang character, Jet, an alien named Karplach, try spelling that, a horror Jack Lantern character, and a couple others for our future roster. Now we have about 26 racers planned in all. It's going to be sick. I have been filling my mind up and my live streams with level design stuff. Holy crap, I dissected a lot of how Mario Kart builds out their levels and the decisions on why they do certain things, such as the sidebars that slow, like grass, the main track, how they make things look fluffy and cute and everything, and how you anticipate so you have time to think about it before it actually happens. Kind of that anticipation factor of level design. I'm not a traditional level designer, so I got a lot of help with this one. But holy crap, I think that Bounty Beach is going to be really sick for the Birmingham event and the upcoming build. Look forward to <clears throat> look forward to Chaos Cart early access this summer, as well as our Kickstarter campaign coming up later this year. Thank you for being part of our community, supporting Indy. I so appreciate you guys. I could not do this without you guys. I read all comments, so please leave some comments below, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Even if it's a goofy comment. I appreciate those too. I'm so glad we got through the hack. I'm so glad that we salvaged the community and that we're getting this going still. My goodness, let's keep it going. Peace. Bruh.